Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. There's a lot to talk about with the uh, notchback. First off, I want to give a big thanks to all the community. Man, you guys have been so helpful. In the past two weeks, I've received so many messages. Um, I joined some groups on Facebook. I, I created a TikTok on Instagram, YouTube right here. So many comments uh, with a lot of feedback from a lot of you guys that have more expertise on the Fox bodies. I'm a big Fox body enthusiast, but um, there's a lot of things that are brand new to me. And some of you guys have pointed out a few things about the Fox body that um, have me really excited. One of the things that a lot of you mentioned that this car might be an SSP car. If this is indeed an SSP car, It'll definitely change the way that I'm going in and which direction I'm going to be taking this car in depending on, on, on if it is an SSP or not. So one of the things I have to look at is the title. I have to look at the buck tags on the car. Um, I'm still learning by all means. Somebody pointed out that um, due to the cluster being a six, uh, 160 mile per hour cluster. Let me get in here right quick so I can show you guys that um that's one sign i thought somebody just might have added this but um everything in here looks pretty normal I also mentioned that some of these weird drill holes on the bezel can be a sign of it but i'm not really sure i have to find the buck tags and look at those numbers and see if indeed this is an ssp car now, on the previous video where I was talking to you guys about, I had uh, had some trouble getting the car started. I bought a new distributor for the car. I wanted to just see if it was a distributor, get a stock distributor. I bought the distributor, I bought a new coil, and even when we did that, I swapped everything out. I still had no spark from the ignition coil to the distributor. There was zero spark. What it ended up being, it was um, after troubleshooting, troubleshooting, it ended up being the computer. So it ended up being the computer and I went on TikTok and I posted a short clip if it's normal for these computers to go out on these cars. And everybody said, yes, it's pretty common. Uh, there's like three, I forgot what you guys call them, balusters that go out and it was actually that. So a bunch of you referred me to a place called the ECU Exchange, which I reached out. I am sending my ECU out. And then another follower on TikTok actually also talked to me about uh, doing the MSD ignition on it so that um, in the future, I don't have the same issues. Theoretically, in the long-term future of this car, I would love to do the whole Holly Terminator X uh, swap. That would be awesome and um yeah so that's what's going on with the fox body um i said it ended up being the ecu the computer and i have these spare parts now but i shipped it out i'm gonna wait for it to come back but there was another gentleman who actually mentioned to me that one of the reasons why these ecus go bad is because sometimes the grounds are bad so this this car does have the battery in the back and he mentioned to me that sometimes when they don't have the proper grounds or the proper cable, that can also mess up the uh, computer. This car does have the battery in the back. I said, I'm not too experienced, but I have to pull all of this apart and I have to sort the car out before I actually put the rebuilt computer in here because I do not want to have some of those issues pop up again. As you all can see, I'm not sure how normal all of this is. There's a lot of stuff that's kind of hacked and put back together. Found these extra pieces here. I'm just not sure uh, why the previous owner or the owner before him did all of this hacking and splicing and all of that. I'm not sure. But I do know that they definitely wanted to have like push start. So that's why there is a push start there. So. Um, I'm gonna have to sort through all those wires out make sure everything's properly connected make sure that everything is in order and Yeah, so this is what this is the challenges that I have for the next few weeks sorting out the proper wiring and Making sure that everything is reconnected properly so that when the, the ECU comes back 
and I go to crank the car over, we have no issues. Honestly, I'm really excited about that. I know that, that the moment that I drove this car for the first time, it was so fun, but it only lasted a short period of time. It lasted about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes of fun, but man, it just, it gives me so much hope. Now there's another follower. One of you guys mentioned to me uh, how I can try to fix this. Maybe not fix it completely, but just um, bring this back up. Somebody mentioned use a football and uh, put air in it and heat this up a little bit and then it should come up. You know, eventually I got to fix that completely. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to come in here and do another quick video update on this car here. I am so grateful to everybody. It's been overwhelming, the support that I've been getting from the car community, especially the Fox Body community. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for all the good tips. I, I would have been uh, really bummed out if I put this computer in there. I don't go through the, through the grounds and I don't go through the proper electrical in the car and electrical wiring in the car. And then we have the same issue all over again. Those are awesome little tips from all you guys that have a lot of experience working on these cars. I previously owned a 1993 SSP car many, many years ago. Luckily for me, when I picked that car up, it was pretty much complete. It was done. That car ran perfectly. I didn't have to touch much. I didn't have to do much uh, work in that car. And when I had to sell it, I was really bummed out. But with this car, now I have the opportunity to learn a lot of new things and continue to work on these cars and enjoy myself with them. Like I said, I'm just grateful to all of you guys who've been reaching out. And I want to give a special thanks to a gentleman um, by the name of Terry Grover, who actually made a video just to have people pointed in this direction to come check out this channel. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, sir. I really appreciate it. And if you guys can go over to his channel, I will link the channel on the description below. So you guys can go check out his channel. Let's help him get to a thousand subscribers. He's really close. Um, let's come together and just help each other out like he's helping me out. I'm completely new to filming myself. I'm completely new to working on these cars. But I'm very excited about it because... Um, when you're passionate about something and you're happy about working on it and this is like your muse or it's something that takes you away from your day to day and it's something that you actually enjoy in your life, I think that uh, everybody should have something like that in their life, right? So for me, having a chaotic life uh, once in a while, no life is perfect, but coming out here and enjoying this car and working on it and wrenching on it and actually learning something new it makes me excited and motivates me to do more here's a car again guys um, like i said it ended up not being the distributor or the coil the computer i will be swapping out this part out as well which is the uh, fuel regulator and definitely have to check for the bug tags i have to remove this to make sure uh that i get that i get to the um uh, buck tags and yeah this it's exciting it's exciting when somebody points something out to you that can definitely change the demographic of your car and i mean it's so cool i'm gonna try to keep these videos pretty short guys you know i'm gonna be wrenching on it i'm gonna be posting other videos and uh yeah thank you if you guys have more ideas more if you guys find more things about this car uh, if you guys point out other stuff that I can do to improve it or improve myself, please, by all means, I really appreciate the feedback. Once again, guys, my name is Oscar. Thank you, guys. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, I did create a logo for the channel and I also named the channel. Uh, the idea of me having two awesome cars and they're both five speed cars everybody loves that third pedal right on these fox bodies i just thought you know what third pedal fox body would be the perfect name for it hope you guys like it hope you guys are enjoying the content and like i said thank you thank you guys so much for all the support i'll see you guys on the next video i will be posting two videos this week um, I did go out to California as well. I so sourced out some seats and I had to put that video together for you guys so you guys can check it out how my trip went. Thank you again. Once again, this is Oscar and we'll see you on the next video, guys.